There's no getting around it. Eastern shoremen are a breed unto themselves. There's something about living between the great waters of the Chesapeake and the Atlantic that tends to make us different. And something here that brings in outside people to live. A few of whom try to save us from ourselves, but most of whom just settle down and become different, just like us. The typical Eastern shoreman is very close to either one of two things, the land or the water. And he would usually prefer to work 70 hours a week for himself than 30 for someone else, simply because he values the satisfaction of running things as he sees fit. Oh yes, he's an independent cuss who refuses to be rushed and often disturbs language purists by saying such things as there's a mouse in the house or ain't ye eat yet. The typical Eastern shoreman is obsessed with a fierce local pride. He loves his volunteer fire department, will challenge anyone who degrades his hometown, will talk about his long departed ancestors with reverence, and does not take change lightly. More often than not, he is possessed with a dry humor. And if by some insane impulse you smack him on the cheek, don't wait for him to turn the other one. Just duck immediately. He is undemonstrative, and if you're lucky enough to have him for a friend, you know that under that cold crust is a furnace of warmth and love. He will share your sorrows, revel in your joys, and can be counted on to contribute to your well-being in time of need. He is quite a breed. He's an Eastern shoreman. <laughs>